First at 6 o'clock, a year after an Allegan County man contracted Triple E, we're getting a look at his long recovery. Richard Force and his wife Kelly have monitored other cases that have been popping up in Michigan recently, including a deadly case in Kalamazoo County just a couple of weeks ago. Well, News 8's Lindsay McComel shares why they hope that his diagnosis continues to serve as a lesson for all of us. Richard Forrest used to spend a ton of time in his garage for several hours late at night. He still comes outside, but not nearly as much because a year ago, a mosquito bite changed his life forever. Richard Forrest is nowhere near his normal self. But if you look back to his condition last October, after Triple E confined him to a wheelchair, you'll see some small victories in his recovery. I'm not Okay. Yeah. Okay, so a little wobbly? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Like, eating out of the shower? Okay. Yeah, yeah, by myself. I remember going in the ambulance, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, I don't remember going down to rehab at all. Wow. Yeah, I know. If you say something about, you know, like when we got married and stuff mm -hmm. like that, he's easier to remember than I am. And I've got my full memory going. Richard's diagnosis was the only triple E case in the entire state last year. We've seen three so far in 2019. Their hope is that people will see its impact on him and advocate for more research and safety outdoors. Whether they come up with a vaccination for humans or they come up with something that can counteract it once they find out what it is. Um, don't wait until it becomes an epidemic. But what do you want people to keep in mind with all of this? Now we do have some ways for you to protect yourself and your property. You can find that at woodtv.com. Reporting in Otsego, Lindsay McComel, News 8.